Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Des Reacts back with another video, man. And for this one, we got SAS Dog senses danger and saves his entire team. Um, I don't know nothing about this situation. Don't know about this dog or any dog saving an entire team, but this dog must be pretty special. So I'm excited for this one. Um, this is similar to the last dog we did, Kuno. Um, this is gonna be a short and sweet video, but they're always pretty. They're always pretty cool. Um, if you guys haven't already, please smash that like button if you haven't. Um, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments your thoughts and feelings on this and uh, other videos you guys want me to react to. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you can. Link's in the bio and uh, or in the description, sorry. Um, this one should be pretty interesting. It looks like I got a lot of positive feedback. Um, so let's get it. On August 26, 2011, a patrol of Australian Special Forces was airlifted by helicopter into Kaz Uruzgan district in central Afghanistan with a mission to locate a high-ranking insurgent. What the patrol didn't know was that the enemy fighters were already expecting the soldiers and had laid an ambush. Fortunately, oh. the Australians were accompanied by a loyal military working dog who would do anything to save their lives. Wow. So the enemies already knew they were coming, so they were setting up an ambush. And the Australian SAS guys were walking straight towards it. Man. The Belgian Shepherd, named Kuga, was already deployed for the second time with his handler, so there was great trust between the two. Kuga. Shortly after landing with the helicopter, Kuga was led off the leash to scout the area. Kuga ran to the left and then forward down a creek he was trying to cross. While the military dog was swimming through the water, he was suddenly targeted and fired upon by several insurgents. The handler watched as the bullets hit the water around Kuga, but miraculously missed him. Undeterred, he continued to swim, got out of the water on the other side, and lunged at the first shooter he saw. Unable to get rid of the canine, the insurgent aimed at him in the melee, pulled the trigger, and hit the shepherd with at least one shot. Dang, not my boy Kuga. Dang, that's a good boy right there too, man. <sighs> like I said in the last dog video, man, these dogs, right? They train and train and train. They get to the point where they don't know the difference between training and real life. So they attack everything like it's training. That's sad, man. Kuga was brave. He's getting shot at, and he just kept going. He gets to the guy, gets shot. Kuga then released his bite, which allowed the enemy fighter to flee. However, when the insurgent gained a few meters of distance, he stopped, turned around, and fired his assault rifle a few more times at Kuga, who suffered five gunshot wounds. Two projectiles hit the dog on the ear, another one hit the toe, the fourth bullet entered his cheek and exited on the neck. The fifth projectile hit Kuga in the chest, exited again at the shoulder, and broke his left leg. Oh. In addition, he suffered splinter injuries to his lower spine. Meanwhile, the Australian Special Forces had been alerted by the gunfire and also attacked the insurgents. Relentlessly, they fought their way forward, but failed to reach the other side of the creek. When the handler saw his four-legged comrade lying motionless on the other bank, he called him over, hoping that he could still save him. Despite his numerous wounds, Kuga slowly got up, crawled to the water, and swam back to the other side to rejoin his team. What? How? He got shot five times. This dog is tougher than... You know, honestly, 99.9% .9 of men out there got shot through the cheek, exit through the neck, shot four other times, broken bones, gets back in the river and swims back to his team, man. Kuga's a trooper. The soldiers understood the close bond between handler and dog and provided all-around security while the handler rendered first aid. Kuga was evacuated and cared for by professional veterinarians before being flown out for further treatment, first to Germany and eventually to Australia. Unfortunately, the wounds were so severe that he later died Aww. after 11 months and countless surgeries. Kuga lost his life due to his wounds from the firefight, 
but he also saved lives. By scouting the insurgents early, he kept his team from walking blindly into a well-prepared ambush that likely would have resulted in even more casualties. Therefore, to honor his actions, he was posthumously awarded the Dickin Medal. This special medal was created in 1943 to honor animals that performed <laughs> particularly brave feats in wartime operations. Kuga's handler later said, I'm pretty proud of what Kuga did that day. He's the one who chose to go forward. He's the one who chose to take bullets for both me and my mates. Ultimately, that enabled me to come home to my family, a brotherhood that no one else could ever understand. Wow. Wow. That was a good video, man. R.I.P. to Kuga. For real. If you guys enjoyed that video, man, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment on your thoughts and feelings, man. I'm not crying, man. You're crying. Catch you on the next video. Peace.